it was good family. Got a different background today. I'm out here in the source. I was just supposed to be out here a few days, but my flight got canceled two days in a row. Not really a bad problem to have because I love it out here. But anyways, in this video, since we got the earnings coming up, I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice, but I want to show you how I find companies to play earnings on if I want to play earnings, as well as show you how I play earnings, as well as how I find the expected move. So without further ado, let's hop in and take a look at it. All right, so here we are. This is the Moomoo Moo app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on markets. I'm going to scroll down. And then right here, you can see there's an earnings calendar showing you what earnings is next, what earnings to expect it and whatnot. So this is one of the ways I view earnings. This is how I uh, find what companies are having earnings and whatnot. They have a nice or organized earnings calendar. I really like the way it's set up. And then another one that I love is it's actually over on Instagram. There is this page It's called EPS Whispers. Uh, it's earnings whispers. And every week they put out this little chart. They usually, if, if you're in the Discord, you'll see this in the earnings section, but they put out this little chart of the earnings to expect this week. So this week we actually have some pretty big earnings. We have um, notable, from, notable ones for me are Netflix. And they also, if you look at the description, it talks about the bigger ones. So you got Bank of America, Gold, Goldman Sachs, TSM, those are all going to be big earnings happening this week. The one that catches my eye most is Netflix. And now for the rest of this video, let's actually go in this, assuming that we're going to trade options on Netflix for earnings. Before you buy an earnings play, before you try to trade anything for options, I would say it's pretty important that you know this. Sorry. This is going to be how to find the expected move. Now we're going to hop into Robinhood. I'm going to search up Netflix. And then trade options and this earning is this week so i'm going to use this week's earnings to find the expected moves netflix's earnings is on the 18th it's on thursday so looking at the 19th if we come and look at their options they're not all in here but what we're going to pay attention is the ones that are at the money can't really see it right now because they added more contracts in this week and they haven't they're brand new like these this 632.50 this 62750 these are brand new options that are have just been added and haven't been traded yet so they have no value whenever the market opens those will start gaining some value and when it comes to finding the expected move you're going to want to take so say netflix is currently trading at 628 or 629 right now and you have the 630 call at expiration this contract would be worth a dollar because it's a dollar in the money but you see the contract with 2525. However far this contract is out of the money, the one that is like right there, they're expecting that it's possible for Netflix to make an initial move of 24 to $25 to the upside. And if we come over to clicks, you can see the expected move here. Let's say this were like closer to 625. Let's say it were at 625 and this is the price. They're saying that Netflix could move about 28, 29% to the downside. That's how you look at and see your expected move. Now, I want to note that this is pre-market before the market opens, and these contracts are likely to jump up and go up in value as we get closer to Thursday when Netflix has its earnings. But right now, this is the expected move pricing for Netflix, and this is how you find the expected move. Now, when it comes to when to buy contracts and what contracts to buy, uh, once again, this is just me. Uh, this isn't financial advice, but uh, looking at something like Netflix, I'm not taking a chance on an expected $25 move, especially when it's a stock that sometimes trades in an $8 range on the day. Pretty much what that expected move is telling you, if I'm expecting it to move $25 overnight, you're not going to profit unless Netflix moves a minimum of $25. If you bought that contract at the money and the next day Netflix hasn't moved $25, the contract's going to lose a lot of value and you'll be down on your contract. So for me personally, when I'm trading earnings, nine times out of 10, it's better to just wait the next day to buy options contract. If it has a lot of momentum to the upside, 
it's still usually cheaper to wait buy a contract for the upside than to try to buy it the day before because if you buy it the day before unless you have some sort of insider information which is illegal know that unless you have some sort of legal information you are playing the odds that are heavily stacked against you trading is a game of probabilities and i prefer to have those odds in my favor so with that being said i personally won't be playing any earnings before earnings i'll be more like a janitor come in to sweep up and clean up after the mess i'm more looking to come in buy contracts for the cheap when i know it's about to reverse because people are scared because the contract has no value get them for the cheap and watch the runners but i want to know family are you thinking about playing earnings let me know down below in the comments what are you looking at for earnings did you learn anything or enjoyed the video be sure to smash the like button if you did if for some reason you're new here and haven't already be sure to subscribe and last but certainly not least thank you so much for watching matthew mayo signing off i want to change your life I had to share it with y'all for the one time show y'all what we working with out here so i'm out here in the source volcanic island and then we got a cruise ship just came in this morning definitely a vibe out here definitely a vibe